In this video, we're going to code our first JavaScript program. Remember, as I mentioned, JavaScript works really well with markup languages like HTML and CSS. So it should be a little surprise to you that we're actually going to start by creating an HTML page, and then we're going to add JavaScript to that. So let's go ahead and start coding. I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning with an HTML, uh, with coding an HTML document, just as a reminder of how we do that. And you should still be in good practice with that. Remember, we want a head and a body, and those are our basic elements of an HTML page. When we save it, we want to make sure that we save as whatever our file name is, .html. I'm just going to call it code page. And remember, the .html is very important. I'm just throwing it on the desktop for now. And remember, once we have our page started, we can uh, boot it up in our browser and then we can dynamically watch the changes if we save and then reload over in the browser space. So uh, right now we know that it's working. We can see that this is a code page. I'm just going to throw a little content on here just so we can see if that to see that that is in fact working. Now remember, uh, when we were coding in our CSS, our styling, we would use a style tag up here in the head. So we just would make sure that all of our CSS was bounded by two style tags. Now with JavaScript, we are also going to use an HTML tag to contain the JavaScript because the JavaScript has a different syntax, just like CSS has a completely different syntax than HTML as you're going to see, but it can be contained within an HTML page. Now also like uh, CSS, you can create your JavaScript in an external file and link to it. And honestly, that's best practice. But for our beginning class, we're just going to create our uh, JavaScript code within our HTML pages. As I mentioned, CSS goes in the head. JavaScript can go in the head or it can be the last element in the body. And the convention has developed uh, to put your script, your JavaScript in the bottom as the last element in your body. And that's simply for, for processing speed. So that would allow the page to load and then it would look at the code rather than having to parse all the code and then load the page. So really it's just about processing speed. The programs that we're gonna be writing are very small. It wouldn't really matter whether you had them within your head or within the bottom of the body. I'm just going to show uh, our coding in the bottom of the body just as a best practice. To code in your JavaScript, you just need a script tag, just like we have a style tag. And then this will be the area where all of our JavaScript code is contained. So in between these two script tags, all of your JavaScript should go there. So let's go ahead and write some JavaScript. So I'm going to use this command. This is a preset command alert that JavaScript recognizes. I'm going to put in a string, a literal string value. And this is this is the typical uh, first program to write is the hello world program. If you've if you've done any kind of coding, you've probably started with that. And notice that as soon as the page hits that uh, code, it goes ahead and runs it. There, you know, there's no other trigger. We'll talk about triggering code a little bit later, um, but because there is nothing to stop it from running that, it just goes ahead and does that. So, and that's and that's the functionality that the alert has. Again, I'm just going to reload the page. Every time the page loads, it's going to pop up this alert that is going to say "Hello World," and notice it says exactly what's here. The quotation marks are not included in the alert that turns out up to the user because those are part of the syntax. The quotation marks signal that, okay, here's where the string uh, value starts and here's where it ends. And so everything inside those quotation marks will, will be displayed. Now, just again, since we're talking about variables in this module, I will just create a simple variable. So I have declared the variable here and we can say X equals, and then we can put any value in here we, we want. I'm gonna put a different string in here. And again, remember, uh, semicolon at the end of your line. And now instead of hello world, I'm going to set this equal to X. Now notice when I'm using a variable, I don't need those quotation marks anymore. I just simply use X because X contains a valid string value because I assigned it correctly up here. So I don't want to put quotation marks around this because if I did that, I would get just an X. If I put in X, no quotation marks, then that means it's the variable and alert will go check that variable for the value. Right, and you can see that it has the different message. 
and hopefully that's starting to give you ideas about how we can use variables to create some dynamic function on the page. So this just uh, shows you a really simple program um, just, just to get the hang of where it fits in terms of integrating it with an HTML page. You can put it in the head inside a script tag or as the last element in the body inside a script tag. We're gonna, we're gonna do the latter throughout the course um, just because that has developed as a best practice, but either one would work.